Welcome to number six of C more pointer arrays and strings. Today we are going to answer the, the quiz question. Number one question of the quiz question says, what happens when one tries to dereference a pointer to null? Okay, what will happen? So to dereference uh, referencing a pointer to a null typically results in a runtime error, such as a segmentation fault or a null pointer or a null pointer exception. This occur because the value of the pointer to null does not point to a valid memory address and attempting to assess or modify the memory at the address causes the program to crash or behave unexpectedly. Okay, I will drop some example on the on my comment. You go and check it. You go and check it. So, um, in general, it is important that we check that point. Check that the pointer is not null before we dereference it. Because if it we dereference it when it's null, it's going to cost a different a, a a segmentation fault okay so here our answer if you hear from my here that is going to cause segmentation fault right now number two question says what is slash r or what is or are the differences between the two following variables except except their names okay apart from their names what is the difference okay now if you see that the character pointer is pointing to what a single a uh, on this section is pointing to a a character that is like a, is a zero like is none right it's not showing it is a non character okay so it's showing like is a is a variable but it's an empty string okay that's what it's pointing to why this other one is pointing to a null right so what would be the difference you see the main difference between the two variables is that S1 points to the empty strings, which is at the string with zero character, okay? Here is a zero, zero character, okay? Zero character. Why string two, this one, string two, why string two? So why this two here is pointing to a null, right? Is pointing to a null pointer that does not point to any valid memory address. Here, here are some uh, like uh, let me let me break it down. These are some example between the two, the two different uh, the two of them. So the first one is the pointer. The, the S one is a pointer to a string literal. Okay, that string literal, which is a sequence of a character stored in read only memory. Only the other, uh, uh, sorry, on the other hand, S2, S2 is a null pointer and does not point to any memory location, okay? So if you see now from our answer now, so it did not point to any memory location. So what do you think would be the answer? So that means this one, we have the first one, we, so the first one, we point to, sorry, the first, two, that means this, the answer will be the first one can be def, uh, can be dereferenced, not the second one because why it points the second one point to nothing, right? Then the second one, okay. Now the, the second answer will not be that this guy, this one, the first one point to a zero bit. Then the second one point to zero, right? So that. Is the answer so the number the next question say why is it important to re reserve enough space for an extra character when declaring or allocating a string okay so why should we do that okay you know it is important to reserve enough space for an extra character when declaring or allocating string because most programming language including C, use a null character to escape, okay, to mark 
the end of a string. So the null character is not part of the string itself, but it is used to tell the program where the end of the string is so that it knows how to process the string. So if you do not reserve enough space for the null character when declaring or allocating that string, you will end up with a buffer overflow, which can cause the program to crash or behave unexpectedly. So in C buffer overflow, in C buffer overflow can be uh, can also be led to security uh, vulnerability as uh, as it can allow an attacker to execute arbitrary code or assess sensitive information in your program. So what our answer will not be from what I have explained to you is that this will be the answer for the null. So this is, this is what will happen. So it is important for us to give more space so that our null bit, uh, byte should not be to end with a string, okay? So that's the answer. Then what is the what is wrong with the following code? int equals to 5 int array 5 int int i equals to 3 so array n is equals to i what is wrong in this code you can see clearly that from this code here that from this code here like this that our array yeah, is declared but our array is 5 and in array you start from what zero in this in, in the index in we start from zero in this zero one two three four five right and you can see now if you want to count from zero now the number here this five will not be will not exist why that means that that that, that array will be out of uh, bound right because it's it's supposed to be Either uh, it's supposed to be now. If I want to count, if you, you will see it will be four. It will be it will be four. It will be zero, one, two, three, four. That is where the index will stop. So now, how do we? What do we do now for this answer? This answer here. That means that this n is equals to i will not will be out of bound because n is 5 and there's no 5 in the array because when you count from the index from 0 to 5 you discover that your index will stop at 4 so there is no 5 so let me throw more light on this for you so that you can understand it so i'll make sure i drop this comment on uh, either in a, a, a word document so that you can read it and understand better okay so um so let me let, let, uh, let me let, let me explain it now for you so that you can get it right so you see in <coughs> You see, the code is trying to uh, the, the the code the code this code above is trying to assess the uh, the element of that array, and that out is outside of bound already because the array in this case n is being assessed where n has a value of five. However, the array has only five elements, and there are numbers from zero to four. Okay, so as a result of that, the line array n equals to i will cause an index out of bound error because it is trying to assess an element that does not exist in the array. So to fix this problem, you have to make in, 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 decrease your n to like n. This you need to decrease this n to like n equals to four for this to work so that the fourth array will be the the n will become four in the in the in the in the, in the fourth element of the array, but or you increase this five by one to make it six. Okay, that's when it will work. So I will drop a, a, a I can't write on my screen now, so I will drop it on my uh, on, on, on in the document on the chat board so that you can understand. So what would be our answer here? Our answer here will be that the array is it is not possible to assess the array n. Yes, it is not possible because it is out of bound. Okay, it is out of bound. It's out of bound. So in the what in the number four question, what is wrong with the following code? The same thing is wrong. Why did I say so? Here now, the array n and the array n since shows that the 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 that array 
and she still shows that this five element, the, 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 the element, the element, the index of array will be four. And you can, if n, yes, it still shows that it is four, right? Because if you check from the example, the, the explanation I gave you, the code is still trying to assess an element outside the array band. Okay, in that case, the array n is being assessed where n has a value of five. Eh? However, the array only has four ele five elements, and it's uh, it only has five elements, and they are number zero to four. So as a result, the array n will cause also an index out of a, out of band error. See, this is the array n. Okay, if array n is five, what will be the so it will still be the same thing. So it's still the same thing. It will it will not be possible, right? So now in this other code, what is wrong in this code? If you check here, you know, array n is what is five. Then the array is ten. So the this r is a uh, three. So if you check now, you will be to be zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that shows that. That shows that it, it, it there's nothing wrong with the code because because the array has ten elements numbered from zero to nine, and the element n is being assessed where n has a value of five. Therefore, the line array equals to i is assessed uh, is uh, is assessed at the sixth element of the of the array. Okay, so I will drop an example for you there so you see it there. On my on, on the chat. So let's go to quickly. So the answer here there's nothing wrong with the code. Okay. Now let's go to this one now. So variable equals to best. Okay. This on its own, if it's a, a, if it's Python, it will be a string, right? If it is a PHP, it will be a string, right? But in C, this is going to be a character. It's going to be a character. Why? Because C, in C, the type of variable var. Would be, uh, would be character pointer, okay? Would be a character pointer, which means that, it, which means it's a pointer to a string of characters, okay? The, uh, in C, strings are represented as array of characters, and the string literal is a sequence of characters enclosed in double, in double quotes, for example. So, for example, the string literal best is an array of character which is size of five. Okay, so if you see the best here is a size of five. Okay, which is a size of five, right? So, including the null character that mark, that mark at the end of the. So, this is five plus the null character. Okay, which is uh, what we we talk about in giving it extra space. Okay, so that is the answer. I would make sure I drop some comments so that uh, drop some uh, explanation so that you can read more and understand. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Please like, subscribe. Thank you. God bless you. Let's check our answer. If we have any issue, we'll fix it together. Okay. It's taking time. I think it's my network. It's taking time. Let me just pause and wait for it. Okay, we have one error. Yeah, let's go back and check from where. Okay, this segment is correct. This two is correct. This one is correct. This is correct because it's four, five, and four can only go there. Okay, let's see now what could be wrong here. Oh, I see. This n, this n is not possible because if you have five array here, five, the fifth array, what will, okay, if you have five, what would this one be? Oh no no no! It is not possible. It is not po it, it it is impossible to declare the variable array this way. Okay. 
let's go i think that's the only question that we think this is correct this is correct okay let's check oh fantastic so that is the answer so please like subscribe and let's learn together and grow together thank you